If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and reread the problem before listening on. Here we have two sound waves produced by sources S1 and S2. These sources are in phase and the sound waves are traveling in roughly the same direction at the same speed and with the same frequency. We have to find the phase difference in the waves. Now, the phase difference is going to be symbolized by this Greek letter and it's going to depend on a couple of items. It depends on the wavelength, which we will talk about shortly, but it also depends on the so-called path length difference. Now you can see that the second sound source is a certain distance from point P. We might call that distance the 4.4 meters indicated in the question. And then the other sound source is located at a different distance to point P, a shorter distance, which is only four meters. And delta L is simply the difference between those two distances. As for the wavelength, we must recall that the speed of the sound wave is equal to the wavelength multiplied by its frequency. So if we divide both sides of this equation by frequency, we have speed divided by frequency is equal to the wavelength. So for this wavelength, we're gonna actually make a little substitution and plug in V over F. And then once again, the delta L is the difference in the values of L2 and L1, basically the difference in those two lengths to point P. So we can actually write that as L2 minus L1. And that's it. We can plug in the given values. We have the speed, we have the frequency, and then we have the values of L2 and L1. So we've plugged in the values dimensionally in the numerator. You have meters and the meters cancel with the meters there and the speed. And then the inverse seconds here and the inverse seconds there are going to cancel each other out as well. So we're going to be left with just radians because that's the unit of the 2 pi. So we can see that the phase difference is approximately 4.11 radians. That is the correct answer to the question.